Everybody's mercy, right? We begin to do that. We begin fixated on what we see. Or what it can do, it can create appetites and desires in us that are challenging to uh, experience in your marriage. Because when it comes to pornography, let's just keep it real. Pornography, in most pornography, is, is, is created from a male perspective. And all it is is <laughs> penetration. It's a woman pleasing a man. And a man that is addicted to porn ultimately can become a lousy lover. Because there is no foreplay in porn. There is no romance in porn. There is no mutual exchange in a lot of porn, it's a woman pleasing a man. And a woman is hot in 2.3 seconds. And she's moaning and she's groaning in 2.3 seconds. And the more pain you give her, the more pleasurable it becomes. And so now you take what you saw in that pornography and bring it into your marriage and wondering why things aren't working out. And porn is nothing more than an exaggeration oftentimes of a true sexual experience. And so it can be very damaging. And I know several people, personally, who've allowed porn to enter into their life. So much so, and I'm talking pastors. Somebody say pastors. pastors. That will travel to other countries and have sex with women, prostitutes, right? To get a sexual experience from another woman that they're not getting from home. Did I say pastor? I said pastor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Born and raised in the church. Saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, all of that. But when it comes to this area, they struggle tremendously. And so this is why it's important that you turn to one another and you have true intimacy in conversations and you begin to engage in conversations about what one likes and what one doesn't like. And there's so many other outlets beyond pornography that you can use to learn about new things to do and new things to try to spice up your marriage. Um, not that we've been involved in it.